Welcome back to another exciting week in the life for Rick at DJ Fusion Sound of whatever. I don't even know what the intro is anymore. Welcome back, welcome back. I got a new cable to test out. Oh, no. Let me just get inside and I'll explain what we're doing today. It is uh, when Thursday. I can't keep track of time. And we are getting set up or loaded out to go set up for a corporate audio event that's gonna take place tomorrow on Friday and weddings and all that fun stuff to come on Saturday. Jordan's got a big event on Saturday. Yes, sir. East Surrey, right? East Surrey. East Surrey, yeah, East Surrey. yeah. Not nothing too big, nothing too crazy. You know how we do. We coming in lights, tube lights, up lighting, major sound system. You know how we do. Oh, that, yeah, that's just small, right? That's just small. That's just what we do. We fuse your sound and lights. Right? Yeah, so I have been fulfilling the role of loadout sheets over over the last few weeks to try and keep some organization as we hire an operations person. So uh, these are all the loadout sheets. I'm gonna put them on our whiteboard here in the office so that we can keep track of everything. But uh, me and Marcellus need to get all of our stuff together. We're taking our first ever event with the brand new 12 by seven projector screens out today to go set up. So we're gonna get some stuff figured out. So on the board here, these are basically just loadout sheets of what all we're taking to every event. We have one event tomorrow, we have two events on Saturday right here, and then next week we have two events on Friday and one, two, three events on Saturday. So all that's laid out for what the gear is that needs to be taken to every event. And you know, we have some logistic things that have to be taken care of, like Ralph here. Most of the DJs own a lot of their own equipment, so we gotta clarify that this is all of Ralph's own gear, and this is the stuff he's picking up here from the headquarters because, um, it's additional stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go find Marcel. Sally! What I do? Where are you at? I'm right here! Are we making something? Yeah, we're making some barbacoa chicken, barbacoa quesadillas. You know, a little side story. One thing I ran into last week at my event, I rocked the Sennheiser IEM system in my booth, and I've been running like a quarter inch to quarter inch splitter and then quarter inches into the back of it to then run to my wireless Sennheiser IEM to my IEMs. And last week, for some reason, I was having issues on Friday. So Saturday, I literally ripped it out and just put a straight quarter inch cable all the way around. And I was getting like just heavy bass in my IEMs at the prom I did. And I literally just had to rip it out and just go hardwire straight into the, the S7 mixer. So I ordered this cable and I'm hoping this solves my issue. But if any of you guys got experience running wireless in-ear monitors with the Sennheiser system and you get a lot of bass, you guys got any way to combat that? I bought um, right angle quarter inch to male XLR to put in the booth and see if that fixes my issue. It's a wireless system, you know? It's not the end of the world if I don't have to use it, if I got a hard wire, but gonna get stuff ready to go. All right, we off. We gonna get some drinks and uh, it's hot out. Go set up, load in, load in, load in. We're gonna get these projectors set up and rocking and rolling. All right, so we are fully set up. As you guys saw, the last time lapse was that and we never showed any of the speakers or anything getting set up. I'll take you guys on a full tour of it tomorrow. Marcellus wanted to show off his new little Hercules mixer that's perfect for these little corporate events when you're really not DJing, you're just playing some music, but it helps with like cue of music and timing and stuff. This one's pretty particular. We got a set up here with three HDMIs. One's already hooked up there. Got our little portable monitor. I've seen a lot of like corporate AV companies like actually bringing in a legit monitor. I think this like little 15 inch portable, it like collapses and stuff is like way more efficient and it breaks down, it's smaller. We got our Logitech clicker um, charging right now. We do have a very fancy clicker somewhere in the back, but it's literally, it's right here. We are running wireless audio to 44 G2s in the back, the RCF with the Icoa subs set up, Yamaha mixer, full tour of everything tomorrow. Well, 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 welcome back to day two of this video, the week in the life. We on Friday today, it's about a little one, 1 30-ish p.m. I'm uh, on the way to the office right now to pick up Marcellus and we're gonna head over to, to do the corporate audio that you guys saw. I'll take you guys on a full detailed. We did forget some stuff yesterday. We're learning this corporate audio stuff. So I do wanna also advise, if any of you guys are in the corporate audio sphere and you got some good tips, some good background stuff, knowledge that I would need to know, I've been uh, I've been reaching out to a lot of people I know in the industry. Uh, you know, my boy John Simmons, DJ Wu Pig down there, he's been blowing up in the corporate, uh, more in the rock and roll audio sphere, but also corporate AV stuff. Been talking with 
Chris Hintz, uh, Pinnacle Production Group, been talking with my boy Cooper Brown. Cooper's been super helpful. I love Cooper. Um, if you guys know Cooper Brown, he's just super helpful, always down to talk shop and, you know, give feedback. And he's been on the corporate grind for I think like three years now, and he's learned a lot. And he's gave me a lot of advice on what to buy, what not to buy, that sort of stuff. And as I grow in this corporate audio sphere, I will be dropping the knowledge. I will be dropping the knowledge bombs so that all you guys also know everything there is to know if you guys want to get into the corporate audio sphere. As of right now, I will tell you it costs a lot. The entry fee to get into this stuff is expensive. The gear is expensive and you don't want to cheap out on cheap gear for corporate audio. It'll ruin you. On the plus side, what you get to charge for these events is awesome. I mean, awesome. The amount of money you make in this, is in this area is a lot and it's reoccurring clientele nine times out of 10, which is amazing in comparison to weddings but the gear costs a lot to get into. And it's not like it's not like in the DJ industry where, you know, I wanna buy nice turntables and gear, or where it's not actually practical money-wise to do that. It's just more you want it. No, in this industry, you have to buy the expensive stuff because that is what is required. Head to the office, pick up Marcellus. I also got some new goodies that showed up in the back of the trailer. Our third and fourth ICOA subs, as I mentioned, the LG Systems ICOA 18 inch subs, just showed up and uh, so we'll get those unloaded. We got the bags and the casters, I believe are already over there uh, waiting on them. So all set, ready to go there. And I might have a new LD Systems product that I'm not allowed to talk about because I signed an NDA. Can you guys believe that? I signed, I, I have an NDA now of a company. Wow. But I'm completely transparent with this stuff. So, you know, there's that. But yes, uh, I got a brand new product. It's in the back of the trailer. It's actually kind of heavy, to be honest. Um, but yeah, more to come on that. It's gonna be released later this year. So I gotta get a video filmed and ready to announce the new product from LD Systems coming soon. Coming soon, people. Coming soon. I haven't even unboxed it. I can't even tell you if it's gonna be practical for us or not yet, but um, it's got potential. It's pretty cool. Coming soon. Anyways, I'll catch you guys at the office when we see Marcellus. We're at the office. We got the ICO is right there. The unreleased thing right there that you guys aren't allowed to know what it is. That's why I'm showing you this angle. On a side note, Mackie always sends me like all of their stuff. They literally just are like, hey Rick, we got a new speaker come out. You want it? So I just get a lot of Mackie's stuff. And we're using their little mobile mix today. It's like a battery powered mixer. So I'll show you guys that later. Getting set up, final setups and stuff. It's not even three o'clock yet. So I got a new one for you guys. I got a new one. Did you guys know that your wired microphone can pick up RF signals, like radio stations? This is new. Yeah. This is, we've never seen this before, but we literally, we have a, I'll show you guys. We have a Shure podium mic up there. Marcel set it up yesterday with what cables we had left. I turned it up. I'm just testing some stuff and I turn it up and I hear a Christian radio station coming through the speakers very faintly. And I was like, maybe it's the 48 volts. Turn that off. It got louder. So did some Googling and yes, like this is a common thing that like people run into where your wired mic can actually pick up outside RF frequencies. There's a, there's a church with a radio transmitter array up there, like a powerful one. And it's either the microphone or the cable. And uh, we didn't have the option to have a second microphone so we swapped the cable instead of running three 25 footers over there one 50 footer ran there and now we don't have the thing so this is a pretty crucial learning element to throw out to you guys but google's your best friend that's the best best advice i got for you but if you're at a um an event and your speakers through a wireless mic when you turn the wireless mic up get a radio station swap the cable and now we're going to do some more testing all right see let me take you guys on a gear tour before we get started and everything we're pretty much set up though I'm ready to go let's start with our main speaker system after i move this cart anyways our main sound system them tonight. Uh, the mains up here, we have six speakers in total, but we're running the RCF NLX 24 Mark twos on top of the LG Systems ICOA 18s. Again, love the sub, best bang for your buck. We just picked up two more. On the stage, we're running a wired podium mic, which I need to get the things for, but this is a sure something. Couldn't tell you, but it's a super cardioid with a um, 18 inch adapter on it, but I gotta get a uh, command strip to hold that in place, but that's wired all the way back to the booth. Video wise, we got, these are the AV Stumple. This is a 12 foot by six foot nine setup, and you can actually make it go higher or shorter if you want. So again, they're AB Stumple FL. They're made in Austria, but these things are beefy, and we got a couple sandbags holding them. Um, but these are our new investment. Shout out Cooper for basically telling me what to get. 
pretty quick to set up, pretty quick to tear down. We got a front and a rear projection screen. So now, of course, we're on rear projection. Back here, projector-wise, we have the Optima. This is the Optima something. It's a 6500 lumen short throw projector, SKB case for it. A variety of cables running around here. We have our locking power. So that's, uh, this is a shout out to Colorado Sound and Light. This is a locking. So this screws into the ground plug and you can never unplug it. And because this power is very like in and out where people walk, we did that. Marcellus rocking the little Hercules baby controller with virtual DJ. Yeah, because of the autoplay feature. Oh. You know their autoplay feature is better. So when they're coming in, I could just trigger oh. the auto mix. I haven't seen virtual in ages. Yeah, right. Uh, of course, we got the audio rack if you guys are familiar with it. Yamaha 12 channel mixer. We have the Furman Power Conditioner Audio Technic 3000 4th Gen mics. We're running wireless audio via the lapel, and this is a wired AA battery kit that is sending the signal to our backfill speakers. Video world, we've got the Roland V1 HD with four inputs, one output, one preview. We have this portable 15 inch screen. Love this little thing, it's so cool. Like these little 15 inch screens are so cool. Two laptops with a third laptop in the bag ready to go so that we can run our video elements. We're gonna be running the video elements right here in vMix on that computer. And on this computer, we're probably gonna have slideshows running for PowerPoint. And then we'll swap everything in and out here so we can go blue in it, go all the way white out. That's one thing I love. There's a, just a quick white out, black out, and you can switch in between the two different screens just like that. Different effects you can do and all that. It's really cool. But that's everything for back in the world of AV today. Coming to the back here, we are rocking the backfills are gonna be our LD Systems Maui 44 G2s. So we have our receiver boxes with our half wave antennas on top of both of them. And then this one in particular, we're looping it out and running audio to the back room as well. We didn't want to attempt to run wireless that far. So this is a real world application on how far you can run it. All the way in the front room right there is about 100 feet to here. And then back here would be another 150 feet through all these different things. There's gonna be a bunch of people. But back here we have the LD Systems Maui 28 G3s. Two of those to do our audio back here. This is gonna be cocktail hour and then they're gonna flip it into a casino later on. And uh, right here is what I was talking about. We have the Mackie Mobile Mix. So this is a battery powered little mini mixer. And Marcellus has his tablet here for playing audio. But we're just routed into the speaker and we have our input for our wired mic. We have our input coming from the main room and we have Bluetooth right here as well. Because we have a variety of different options we needed to do with microphones and audio logistics. And uh, to be specific, they want music playing in there for cocktail, but they wanna be able to be testing music in here, testing the microphones that, and we don't want that to come through those speakers. So we're gonna run the cocktail mix on the tablet while we're doing all of our checking and stuff in here. And then when they open up this room, then we'll have the music playing seamlessly throughout. And then later on, they're gonna be doing door prizes and stuff so they want the announcements to be heard throughout. So that's why we have the main room hooked up so it's all seamless. The wired mic is actually a backup for cocktail in case the wireless mic doesn't pick up all the way there. We tried it, you can stand out there with a wireless mic for the main rig and hear it but uh, it might just make more sense for like the cocktail announcement to come into here to be just done with that wired mic right in there because that's where everyone's going to be at first. So a lot of this stuff has a lot of logistics going on to say the least. I feel like I need to fix the, it doesn't look as clear as what it could be. I'm gonna mess with the focus. But I need to get on the computer right now, download all of the video elements that we are rocking for today because they just emailed them over. So we're gonna mess with that. So this is like the video world breakdown, but basically we have a laptop here that's gonna be running all the PowerPoints. Um, I can quickly go to blackout screen or I can flip over to this screen, which is vMix, and I can then switch between different PowerPoint presentations. And then over here we can see it. Um, this is actually a web browser they wanted up, so I already have it on that screen full screen because they might want to show that. But the cool part is I can literally launch a PowerPoint presentation and it launches right up there on top of it and I can press escape and go right back to it. So pretty cool. vMix is a really cool software that I've started to use. Shout out again, Cooper Brown for turning me on to this software. But basically it's like this, this video switcher right here that does HDMI ins but it's on your computer. So basically the secondary screen, which is up there, which is white, I can then launch any of these elements, video elements, etc., straight to it. And personally, this is just 
experience and things I've been told in the industry, you don't wanna be using internal videos on PowerPoints, like big videos, files. It's okay if it's a quick video, if you don't have to. You'd rather yeah. just switch over to the video element on a separate computer then go back because you don't want that PowerPoint to crash. I guess that's very dependent because I've seen a lot of PowerPoints where it is in the PowerPoint. In this case, it's like uh, a minute 30 video or like the one we did a couple weeks ago for downtown Greensboro, that video was like four minutes long. So I would rather run that video on a separate computer and make sure it runs all the way through in case like, you know, the presenter clicks that next button and the video stops. So you don't want them to accidentally do that. Professional presenters that actually have very thorough presentations have their videos built into them and it's a lot cleaner. Quick, take your cell phones out, whatever you want to do. I'm going to grab a couple. I like to show these to my friends. I tell them I got everybody to be at the same time. <laughs> all right, so um, they're out of this room, so we started breaking down. All we left is the breakdown of the screen. All the speakers are pretty much gone, and then the speakers out there. That's all that's left. Pretty much a wrap right now. Everything's broken down, except for the speakers out front. And this, is there anybody left? Oh, uh, like six. everything. We're going to do the final inspection and um, catch you guys back at the warehouse to load up everything for the wedding and unload and be ready for tomorrow. So next day working on uh, getting all prepped this morning for the wedding. Did a lot of prep at the actual corporate event last night because corporate events there's not really much to do once the presentation's over so I was doing that. You guys have seen my workflow before but if you haven't seen my workflow before Use Vibo for all of my planning. Um, that's the platform that all of our DJs use because the prep mode just makes finding songs and like literally this made getting all my music together last night, 30 minutes. But uh, I was printing out the PDF so that way I could put it into my Google Drive so that way I have access to it regardless of where I'm at. It's a little PDF printout that comes out of Vibo. I'm also getting it set up on my iPad and making sure that it's available offline so fully downloaded on there. Uh, working on music, got the printouts, so I always print out two copies of it as well, so we got hard copies. And then um, getting the music synced between my master DJ laptop, which is this one. I use iTunes for all of my music organizations, so here is my crate for today's wedding, Brittany and Terry. And uh, basically got my ceremony folder right there, broken down with prelude and main ceremony music, open dancing folder, broken down into all the different categories, bangers, open sets, drop-ins, etc. So that I have my tools, got my dinner music there, cocktail music, and then all of the main tracks that I also need to play. And then what I do is um, I use iTunes Match, which syncs my iTunes across all platforms. So that music is now synced on my iPad. It's also synced onto my other computer. So all of my same folders are synced across all of my different computers, basically making it so that I have the exact same crates on every single computer. And then I just gotta go in and make sure that I have them downloaded because like here on this computer, if you can see, those are my offline files. So I can still play them if I have online, but they're on the cloud so I can download them so that I can make sure they're on the physical computer as well. So it's kind of cool. I have iTunes, I have my exact iTunes library on my main computer here for my desktop. I have it on my, what I call my ceremony portable laptop and I have it on my DJ laptop and I have it on my iPad. So backups on backups on backups on backups. So getting it all ready. Um, also getting my camera battery, getting the GoPro together um, that I shoot all those basically dancing clips with. Pair it with this battery pack right here which has a mount for our tripod. Yeah, it's a little bit of the back end flow of everything, how it works, and it all goes into my two different jetpack bags, main DJ bag, this is my portable ceremony bag, and then I have a third, third bag that's just dedicated to my clothes. I need to go get that out of my truck from last night, get my clothes switched out for tonight's wedding. Trailer's fully loaded from last night. Just gotta go to the office, pick up the assistants for the day, and we're off to the event. We all on site, we all on site. Ralphie boy parking over there. Yeah, they got a new terrace here and a few other things. This is Oak Haven, so we're gonna load everything in. Now the one thing that is not that great about Oak Haven is the ceremony is all the way down here and the venue's all the way up there. Right now, I just dropped off all the stuff for the ceremony and now I gotta drive all the way back up there. This is the new cocktail area. 
definitely looks like they had to build this up to actually build it because I, I remember this all being a hillside and now we have to hike all the way down to the ceremony site let this be a lesson for all you guys show up early because uh you never know when you guys set up ceremony on the other side of a hill and ceremony set up we could fast right ralph oh we what time fast, we at man. So uh, you guys know the deal. LD Systems Maui 5 Go running on battery. That's going to be our speaker for the ceremony. Running two Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens. All running on battery today. Well, there's power over there, but running everything on the Jackery down there. The Jackery 1000. Do you need a 1000? Absolutely not. I like having this at my house though. Power like a whole TV on that and everything for hours on end. All right, well, we're going to walk back up there and get all the personal bags and stuff in and clothes and that sort of thing. We all uh, set up rock and roll and prelude music. Surprise everybody standing in the sun, but we want to get started. One, two, three, four, five, Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Terry Krasinski. everyone cocktail happening out on the terrace i think i talked about this maybe maybe not i love this new terrace edition that they added because my favorite part about weddings is the break at cocktail so that, that way i get in the right zone for djing and emceeing before that cocktail was in here so now that it's out there perfecto let me take you guys through the setup for the day though setup for the day we have burfa of course over here with the rain 12 mk2s pioneer djm s7 running lighting on sound switch on the hp spectra with serato dj pro back rack down back behind here i am running a wireless feed wireless sending out of the lapel to a receiver down there for a side fill need to go get my stand for the gopro yamaha 12 channel you guys know this is the audio rack if you guys don't know you don't know we're rocking the ld systems maui 44 g2s tonight we got the both lighting 360 tubes. We put two on feet up here, so pretty cool. Put two on feet up there, and then we got two on the half stands. And we have the both lighting MH150 spots on gravity stands. Super quick, easy setup, making life easy. We also have cold sparks up front that we're gonna be using for our introductions. We have cold sparks on the cold spark batteries. These are the both lighting ones. Those are going to be used for our grand introductions and then we're going to transfer those up front on either side of the fireplace to do open dancing with. So up here we've already ran the power cons and I ran a DMX feed over here for the cold sparks when we move them up here. Got some awesome letters right here. Terry and Brittany. With Brittany's parents and that is Lynn Sue Bullock. First up, we have his mother, Sheila Pruitt. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys to put your hands together. I need you guys to scream. I need you guys to shout. Help me welcome in for the second time this seasoning, the new and Mrs. Presenti! So, update you guys right now. 8.45 right now. We end at 10.15. So, we're gonna, we're gonna go hard off the get-go. That's my plan. We're just gonna go ham. We're just gonna fucking slam it and go. That's the plan for the party.
like Pango Man I'm sick of the city like Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? I'm not you But I've been Family and friends, we have a very, very special surprise for you to end the night on. If you guys are sensitive to loud noises, there's earplugs outside, but we got a special surprise. If everyone can make their way over to the terrace. This big right. We done. Uh, Ralph, how fast did we load out? How fast did we break down? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yep. Ralph's about speed, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Ralph is about speed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another crazy epic weekend. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep the America spinning, guys. Peace out. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>